Hey guys, how you doing? So, uh, for today's video, I had uh, no ideas on what to do. Um, I've been working on those really cool blankets. Um, I actually bought the pattern for last year, but obviously I don't want to show me working on that as it's paid. Sorry, excuse me. Paid pattern, and I don't want to get into any tr troubles. I apologize for the hiccups. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, here I am. I decided to do a acrylic pour canvas again because I couldn't remember the last time I did it. And I wanted to stick to my favorite colors. If you guys don't know, I love blue and green just goes so well with blue. And I wanted it to be like the background. I wanted it to be mainly dark blue, like the main color to be dark blue. And then I wanted two other blues to contrast. And then I just wanted like a little green, not anything to overpower, but just like a tiny bit of green to give it some pop. And I also saw on TikTok that if you pour like a one color background, like usually they use black, um, your acrylic pour will slide and, um, you know, like when you tilt it sideways, it will pour better going down the sides. So that's what I did with the dark blue paint, but I really wanted that to be my main color. Um, I kept pouring water in and out, in and out, because you do need to add a little water for their acrylics. I kept making it too watery. <laughs> so I ended up with more paint than I needed. I was debating if I just wanted to do a second canvas, but I was like, nah, I'll just throw it on there. It'll look good. So here I am just finishing up the paint. Um, I apologize. I didn't realize you could, couldn't could see the other two colors. But yeah. So this is the second blue. Actually, yeah. So the one on the very right is a blue. The one in the middle is green. Then there was a light blue and a dark blue to the left, which is not in camera. I did have the show you guys at the end. I didn't have my camera propped up really high so that you could see what I'm doing. You could see me pouring. And I do apologize. This video is in full speed, uh, full regular speed. Um, I wasn't able to speed it up as much as I normally do because I didn't have as much footage as I thought. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much in real time. <laughs> so I apologize about that. I also don't know. I think there might be. I'm gonna look, as soon as this video posts on YouTube. I'm gonna come back and see if I have enough footage for a vlog. I've been, I have a lot of clips, but they're more like 20, 30 second clips. I've been doing this new series called, um, Keep It, or, oh, what is it? Oh, Finish or Frog It. So, for those who don't know crochet terms, um, a project that you, you've started, that you put aside, is called a whip, a work in progress. Um, so, a lot of people on TikTok have just been picking up their, you know, their whips and deciding if they want to keep it or frog it. Now, frog it means basically unravel every single stitch, everything, rewrap the yarn and use it for a different project, which is what I did for most of my whips. Um, but yeah, I've been recording that process for my vlog channel, but I've also been recording it on TikTok. So... I did get through most of my whips. Um, obviously, I still have the Spider-Man Clone in a Corner, uh, which I will eventually finish. Um, <laughs> that That's a paid pattern, too, so I really want to finish that one. But My Hero Academia one is really exciting because there is a new movie coming out this Friday, which I am going to see. Um, I'm actually writing my mom, and for those who don't know, my mom doesn't watch anime. She doesn't watch dubs, she doesn't watch subs, she does not watch it. So she has no idea what my hair academia is. So it's going to be fun. I made her watch uh, this five season recap video on YouTube, but I think it just confused the heck out of her. But I'm really looking forward to the movie. Um, yeah, so I've got my hair academia corner corner, Spider-Man corner corner, the comet unicorn. I don't know if I'm ever going to finish that one. Uh, that was also a paid pattern. I have two blankets that are 
in that red basket up there. You guys have probably seen on my desk. I've got those two blankets. Uh, but the one I'm working on now that was actually started last year around Christmas time is a uh, stitch along. Now, a stitch along is everyone is given the same pattern. There's an option for a free pattern or a paid pattern. But a paid pattern gets you more, like, de like more sections, right? <laughs> so, but every week or every month or whatever it is, you get a new part of the pattern. And obviously, I went for the paid pattern because it was so stinking cute. And, yeah, that's what I'm working on now. <laughs> Uh, I told myself I need to finish my old stuff before I start anything new, and I'm really in love with this pattern. Uh, I don't know why I stopped working on it. And as for this, I wanted to keep it all in a circle. Um, that normally we call this a dirty pour. In one cup, you just combine every um, color, and it's called a dirty pour, and then it comes out in a circle like I just did here. Um, I didn't want to get another cup, so I just did the circle technique in the center, but then it was veering off to the side, so I just kind of went in a big circle, as you see here. <laughs> then I had to make sure I got every drop of green. So let's be honest, you gotta get it. <laughs> and then I was gonna use this, but then I decided, you know what, no. I'm just going to do the normal um, technique. Now, I do have a box of gloves. I know you guys are probably gonna say, why didn't you wear gloves? Um, I had gloves, and I honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, I forgot to wear them. <laughs> but it's okay, it's just paint. It comes off. Unless I get it on my clothes, and my mom will probably kill me. But, but, I did not get it on my clothes. Uh, this is the only part that I don't necessarily like for videos. Because it is kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing. That and painting the sides. Um, as I was painting them, like you could see me doing it. But you could not see the paint coming down. And I'm like, eh, oopsie. That might have helped if my camera wasn't so high. You could definitely have seen me doing the sides. But that's why I held it, held it like this. So you could purposely see the dripping. Now, I didn't want the green to go down a little more than it did. But here was the tricky part because my hands were full of paint. Um, and yeah, so it is done. But I, I am just going over the sides with the dark blue. I wanted it to be the same consistency as the painting with a little water. So that's what I did there. But then I realized it was too runny, so I couldn't paint it on like I did there. And it wasn't working, so I'm like, okay, let me try pouring it over the sides. That did work a little bit. But then when I went to the other side... Oh, you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, well... <laughs> So then when I went to the final side, I ran out of water in my cup, so it was a little thicker, but there was still enough water in there to give it a good consistency. I didn't want to, like, just paint the sides, because there was a beautiful, like, green, multicolored coloring that matched the top, and it was really beautiful, so I didn't want to ruin that, so I just touched up the white spots of where you could see the naked canvas. Um, and then I tried to leave as much as the other colors pouring down. And I'm really happy with the results. Um, unfortunately, you guys aren't going to be able to see what it looks like dried. Um, I'll try to take a video footage of it and post it on my vlog channel. If I remember. And it says this canvas dries. It will be available for $10 plus $5 for shipping. And that will be shipped in a bubble wrapper. Oh. Bubbled mailed wrapper thing envelope. <laughs> and that's how that goes out. And depending, that's for U.S. shipping. If you're in Canada or any other, you know, international places, the shipping will probably be higher, unfortunately. So we'll have to talk about that. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I always had so much fun doing acrylic pours. I don't know what I think I stopped doing them because they weren't selling. If you guys don't know, I have like 22. I think it's like 21. Plus this one makes it like 22 canvases. That I was trying to sell on Etsy and my mom was trying to sell them. They're just not selling, unfortunately. So I think that's why I stopped. But look how beautiful this is. How could you not want it? I really love how 
the dark blue stay captured and it just looks like a splatter of paint and I love it and I will see you guys in the next one bye